And now at six, calls for accountability six months after a Norfolk Southern train derailed in Sandusky. Good evening, thanks for being with us. Courtney's off today, I'm Rob Powers. We've been following through on the impact of that derailment and Sandusky's attempts to get back to normal since this all happened. That train carrying paraffin wax derailed October 8th. The city says trains began running within 48 hours, but the road remained closed. In January, leaders expressed frustration. I don't think the railroad's a real good partner. In mid-February, we were there as one lane of the Columbus Avenue underpass reopened. And now, six months after that derailment, the other lane is still closed. Norfolk Southern continues to promise they're going to fix things, and they simply haven't stepped up. News 5's Jesse Schultz was there today as Senator Sherrod Brown called for accountability. Six months after a Norfolk Southern train derailed here, spilling paraffin wax all over the roadways, the underpass is still closed. And today, Senator Sherrod Brown assessed the damage, saying it is a prime example of why we need safer railway procedures. You could say the heartbeat of Sandusky depends on its visitors. Most of the people rely on this road to get to and from. And with a main artery pumping those visitors to and from the city severed, the impact has been severe. It's been horrible for businesses, it's been horrible for residents, it's been horrible for tourists. Dick Brady, Sandusky City Commissioner, says they tried to get Norfolk Southern to help with Columbus Avenue, but weren't getting much response. So they hired a contracting firm themselves, estimating the total project cost about three quarters of a million dollars. We were so frustrated with uh, with a vague response or lack of response from the railroad. He says it wasn't until East Palestine occurred that Norfolk Southern began returning their calls. It's unfortunate that it takes that kind of a crisis to get their attention. And when politicians like Senator Sherrod Brown started seeing a track record of railway derailments. They have great lobbyists, they have great PR operations. They got away with far too much and the public always pays. Thursday, Senator Brown toured the site of Sandusky's derailment and talked to Sandusky officials, saying this is why his bipartisan Railway Safety Act bill need swift passage. Fewer accidents and safer workloads and more accountability. Adding he and Senator J.D. Vance will continue to pressure Norfolk Southern to step up and help clean up the communities they have left in the dust. The city has expended a good bit of money. Um, we will make sure that Norfolk Southern pays them back. Uh, for every dollar the city taxpayers have spent. A spokesperson for Norfolk Southern tells me they have been in constant communication with Sandusky officials and are committed to reimbursing the costs, adding the city has yet to invoice them for it. But Aaron Klein, Sandusky's public works director, says otherwise. Our contractor has sent invoices, one invoice, the first invoice, and they're still trying to get compensated for that. But city officials are hopeful political pressure will help fast track the entire process. We're somewhat rolling the dice whether we're going to get compensated for it, but we just can't wait. I mean, it's not fair to our residents. Sandusky officials hope this underpass will be open by next month. They say if they don't receive full compensation from Norfolk Southern before completion, they will be sending them a bill. Reporting in Sandusky, Jesse Schultz, News 5. Okay, big picture. We wanted to know just how safe our country's rail system really is. According to data from the Federal Railroad Administration released in March, the train accident rate is down 28% since 2000. The derailment rate is down 31% since 2000, but up 5% year over year. What they call track-caused accidents, down 55% since 2000. Trespassers cause over 95% of all rail-related fatalities.